ISS, this is KG4AKV. ISS, this is KG4AKV. ISS, this is KG4AKV. ISS, this is KG4AKV. RS0 ISS, this is KG4AKV. 
RS0 ISS, this is KG4 AKV. 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 RS0 ISS, 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 KG4 AKV. KG4 AKV clear. Okay, let's see. Uh, that was the International Space Station and they were talking to the Tulsa the Tulsa Community College in Oklahoma and this was a really low pass for me it was seven degrees it was actually a not a really high pass even for Tulsa Oklahoma it was 20 degrees for them so it's further west than um, even Tulsa is for me a lot further west I think it, it was actually over Colorado and Wisconsin around that range so but the ISS puts out a lot of power relative to other amateur satellites and um, I think they put out 25 watts maybe on the voice on the voice um, station so it's really easy to hear what you just saw that was um, amazing I, as soon as I turned the radio on and got on the right frequency when it was pretty much at theoretically zero degrees it was receiving me I mean I was receiving it like full scale which means um, S9 is the top of the um, the scale and signal strength, and I was getting it at S9 plus actually, so de it's many decibels over. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. A um, little nervous. I was trying to contact them. I don't know if that's kosher. Probably not, but um, at the same time, I'm not sure it could be that big of a deal because they use a different uplink frequency than um, for the random contacts like me than they do for school. So they have a private confidential frequency they use for schools so I couldn't interfere with them even if I wanted to um, and I waited until they end ended of course and I was hoping that I could tail on you know maybe maybe that cosmonaut would have just turned the frequency or turned the channel on the radio to the um the general uplink frequency to listen for all of us folks that really want to get in to the International Space Station over ham radio um I'm out here at a really new um location for me this is a landfill um it was a landfill Wake County landfill um, in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I came here because I knew this was going to be a low elevation pass, um, seven degrees max elevation, and I wanted to get all of the signal that I could. So this is definitely the highest point I've ever been to in Wake County. Um, I can see everywhere, and I'll just show you a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, there's the um, horizon. Oh man, it's pretty nice out here. A little hot, but um, nice. And I was worried about this antenna tower here. I was worried that might interfere with me. Luckily, I didn't have any interference whatsoever. I don't know if that'll be the case for other frequencies. I'm probably going to be coming out here for satellite passes, other satellite passes like SO50 and other satellites, lower elevation passes, now that I know about it. Um, Cool. Uh, did a little different thing. Sometimes I use uh, my car and um, car mobile radios, but I knew I was going to have to walk up here probably, so I um, 
got this all set up I use my handheld so I wouldn't have to carry much and I've made this cable last night this um this is a normally you have a 1 8 phono there's also quarter inch phono cables and um, this one's even smaller than that um, I forget the actual inches but it's smaller as you can see and I got this I think from a oh no and that cables coming up the insulation's coming apart it's an old calculator cable I believe to copy data from TI-83 kind of Texas Instruments calculators and it was the right size so I made that last night at 2 a.m. basically finished it at 2 a.m. and I used that to record into my voice recorder which is now recording this audio right here there was the um, details of the pass 0 degrees at 1204 and the, the azimuth and the direction cardinal directions and the highest point 7 degrees 1207.54 and the azimuth and then the the ending point and um, that was marked I marked that figured that out with my compass um, over here I have a new compass now which I kind of like where did I put it I don't know where it is but um I have a new compass and I, I figured out that you know the um, beginning of the pass was basically one of those rocks right there and the highest elevation was right behind this camera over those where those house roof out the roofs of those houses are and the setting point was right to the left of that other landfill mound all right, cool deal. So let's give some um, sinking. Thank you for watching. I'm John Breyer, KG4 AKV. Bye.